away and the shots have made two changes from the midweek FA Trophy win against Welling and they line up as follows Luca Ashby Ammond in goal um, Jordan, Cordner and Davies I think will make up a back three some late information I got there Harfield pushing up into midfield where he'll join Vincent Partington and Class, Glover and Malusa and Effiong the most advanced players for shots you've got an attacking throw in now in it comes from Harfield flicked on by Effiong held up inside the area referee spotted a little bit of tugging I uh, didn't hear the whistle, John, but uh, no arguments from either side about the decision. And uh, all the shots should get there first. They clip it down the line, but only as far as Anderson, who slices that one. It's not gone into touch. They're still battling for it. Glover's brought it down first. He squares it across the pitch. Good ball to Amaluza, who probably found himself in more space right now than he's going to get all afternoon. Spreads it out to the left-hand side to Harfield. Cross comes in. It's not a good one. It's cut out by Woking, and it will go behind. Here's Michael Class starting uh, lineup for all the shot today that one's come a little bit out of the blue a little bit necessitate, necessitated by the injury to Willard and also the absence today of Odi Alpha as Amaluza goes down he's clipped uh, free kick to all the shot 15 yards inside the Woking half no complaints there John yes. we're in approaching the end of the fourth minute here shots free kick in from the left from Harfield and uh, Corey Jordan gets up gets his header on it and it lands on the roof of the net I think the few oohs John came as it landed on the net as a strong headed winner from Cuthbert is knocked down and then played out to the left side no offside flag and Amund can pick it up edge of the area tries a little cross in it's missed by one player goes to the other shot comes in it's blocked comes back to Woking player comes in again headed away by shots and then Glover misses his clearance uh, Davies doesn't but the flag's up for an offside anyway can you hear me okay John yeah yeah I'm talking to you a couple of times and, and uh, I'll just turn you up with a mixer there we go uh, free kick over on the far side first real decision for the referee not about the free kick but is it anything more than that as I was just adjusting so you could hear me better John did you see that foul can you tell the viewers about that well I just think it, yeah, it was obviously a mistimed tackle no more than that and um, you know to say again it is a derby game you're going to be probably a little bit more on it than otherwise might be the case I think the referee's going to He's having Probably a strong just, word. Yeah, he um, is. Nothing more with the order shot skipper Joe Partington. Is he? Has he got the book out there? Yeah, he has. He has. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now that's not ideal for Joe Partington, the order shot skipper. Giant and bright floodlights here at the EBB, the Boxing Day derby. Shots against Woking. Seventh minute. In comes the free kick from Woking. Headed back across and half cleared. And Woking might get a shot away here. It's narrowly. It goes wide and it's put behind by Harfield he blocks it well stops the cross coming in Crawley and from Dorking just elsewhere in the National League this afternoon we've had a few early goals Notts County and Oldham is one all already and Wealdstone are one nil up ahead against uh, Maidstone a uh, maidenhead I beg your pardon and here is uh, good work down by the byline and then a little clip and it's a penalty to Woking I think it was a Mond was it that was dribbling along the uh, the byline and he was just clipped down I think by Corey Jordan John and the penalty's been given so Mondu was fouled but it's Reese Brown against Luca Ashby Hammond working with a golden opportunity to take the lead here in the Boxing Day derby at the EBB Reese Brown steps back comes forward right footed and sends the keeper the wrong way Woking have the lead in the Boxing Day derby from the penalty spot in the 11th minute all the shot town nil Woking one okay one of them was in the FA Trophy against Eastleigh no shame in that but the 2-0 defeat at home to York ended an eight match unbeaten run didn't it yeah and it had been coming to be fair here's Woking again trying a shot from distance it's Parig uh, Amon who let's fly with a half volley always going over and into the no man's land in the East Bank end sorry John Vincent and good early passing means that uh, Michael Class can direct the ball out to Glover who does well to keep it in he finds Archie Davies who skips one pass then gives it back to Glover Glover inside to Class, who's taken out rather horribly by a Woking player that's going to be a yellow card for sure as well free kick to the shots out on the left hand side Halffield with the ball in low missed by a lot of players missed by everybody a packed penalty area it's gone through everybody even though it didn't have that much pace on it picked up now by Amaluza squares it in it comes and it's plucked out of the sky near post by Ross goal kick to the shots for the benefit of our online listeners taken by Ashby Hammond 
headed down. Class feeds Davies, who gets his feet in a little bit of a muddle, but manages to keep it in. And it's a poor, poor back pass. Just got enough to get through to Ross. Talking nil, Eastley one. Thank you, Warren Muggleton. As our radio listeners rejoin us, it's still shots nil, Woken one here. Ryan Glover chasing the ball down the right-hand side. He keeps it in, down by the byline. Now he wants a bit of support. He gets that from Michael Class, who escapes one challenge. That's late. Nothing given. Has the ref blown his whistle? He has blown his whistle. He blowed it late. And, 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 and John, he didn't blow it convincingly. He's given it the other way. Wow, John, just give your take on that one for us. Well, I definitely thought it was a, a dive in. I think it was. Oh, he's, he's pointed the wrong way. It is an order shot kick. And that's a human error. He's entitled to make that. Ross McNeely won't be happy with that in his first derby. Good cut out there uh, by Daly. And Woking come forward. But now Partington wins it up. And he goes down and wins a foul. A foul that there's no doubt in my mind he was quite cleverly looking for. But a foul that nevertheless. The referee was well placed to give just five yards away. Corey Jordan. Jordan holds the ball up. Good composure from him. Scunthorpe have taken the lead against Chesterfield, who've equalised within five minutes. It's one all. There's a ball through to Michael Clark. Good control. He's into the area. He's onto his left foot, back onto his right. Has he had too many touches? He's still got it. He's played it back to Archie Davis. Davis with the clip cross in, headed away at the far post by Kellerman. Should be kept in by Amaluza. Goes back to Harfield. Harfield with a cross in. Flicked on. Missed by a couple of players. Goes through to Ryan Glover. The shot's best spell of the game so far. Glover on the edge of the penalty area. Looking to get inside the penalty area now. Clips the ball in. Headed away by Ince. Woken to get in there first. Cleared forward. Amond chests it into the path of Kellerman. Whose pass forward is going to go straight to Corey Jordan. A tug on Reese Brown's shirt, but he's come away with the ball anyway. Good skill from him, weaving his way around. Tries the one-two in the edge of the penalty area. Doesn't quite fall cleanly for him. Shot comes in, into the side netting from Daly, who knows where that goal is. His radar slightly off on that occasion. It will guide you through the half-time updates from elsewhere. But for now, we'll concentrate on these last couple of minutes. Ball spread out to the left-hand side. Amaluza picks it up inside the penalty area. Good feet from him. Tries a shot. It's weak. It's on target. It's weak. Here we're in the dying seconds at the end of the first half for shots. Ball in. Can Affion get there? John, as that ball came in, you wondered if it had slant towards Affion, but it didn't. Ross got there first. Yeah, but more promising signs from all shot perspective. Goal kick to Woking, which Ross will take. And there is the half time whistle. Um, and the Woking lineup. Uh, Craig Ross in goal, back four of Casey McNerney, Cuthbert, and Moss. Uh, midfield four of Daly Ince, Kellerman, and Anderson. Reese Brown playing just behind uh, Podrick, Amund. And here's Woking quickly on the ball. Neat footwork from Rhys Brown. Little prodded pass into the penalty area. And uh, Archie Davies does well. Plays it off of the Woking player. Goes behind and it'll be a goal kick to the shot. So he'll be desperate to uh, make a better start to this second half. And now Corey Jordan's got it. And he finds Archie Davies in the right back position. Into Clover. Into class. Then a good ball to Vincent. Just broken the lines nicely there. Vincent out to the left hand side to Amaluza. Quick footwork from him, goes left, goes right, prods the ball into Vincent, gets the ball on the edge of the area, does well to hold it up. Feeds Partington, who slips it out to the left-hand side. Can Arfield make room for a cross? No, he goes inside to Amaluza. He's one-on-one -on -one against Kellerman. Plays a ball into the penalty area to Klaas. Klaas there, onto his right left foot, then he's lost it. And it's cleared away. Great work by uh, Rowan Ince. But forward, and only as far as Cordner. Cordner beats one. Second challenge comes in. Now he squares it to Vincent. Vincent, edge of the air, he's going to have a shot left-footed. It's high and it's wide. To Woking, which Dan Moss will take. Reese Brown can't quite hold the possession. The ball breaks to Frank Vincent. He squares it across to Archie Davies, who comes forward over half-time. So, uh, over halfway, beg your pardon. We'll go very shortly to Medibank. Cross comes in, drops at the feet. Effion can't quite hold it up and set one of his other players. I think it's going to be open and stretched in the second half there's a long ball forward from Woking and Cordner will deal with that one they've won it back and they go again with Jermaine Anderson who goes down to ground 
And the referee was well placed to realise that he'd lost possession of the ball before he did. Early ball in, Effie Young's chasing it, he's in the penalty area and Craig Ross does brilliant. He lunges in front of Effie Young and gets there. Effie Young trying to put his body there and invites some contact and in any case none of it would have mattered John because the flag's up on the far side for an offside. Um, here's Harfield with the free kick out on the left touch line. It's a deep free kick. Um, it's headed up in the air by a Woking player, only as far as Frank Vincent. He thinks a ball, a good ball into the air, finds Amaluza and uh, is somehow bundled wide. And uh, do you know what? I think it's Corey Jordan who got the effort in, but a Woking player got immediate contact to deflect it behind. Header won by Moss, and then Class wins the next header. Effion comes in and wins it. Big, strong. Flicks it over the top. Onto it is Amaluza. He's into the edge of the penalty area. Shoots, and it's a great block. It's a really good block from one of the two Woking centre backs, McNerney. 1 0. Here's Kelling Kellerman. He's, he's lost the ball to Partington, who's fed Ryan Glover. All the shot need to get it out to the right side, as they do now. Well spotted, Ryan Glover. That's where three players of full shot were free. One of those is Amaluza. He's come back to get the ball. He's looking to skip past Anderson if he can. He's gone past him. He's evaded another channel challenge, but he's going across the pitch. Now he's got to go back. And Partington's got the ball. Still shots nil. Woking one. We're in the 64th minute. Ball forward is cut out by Ince. Good, solid game in the heart of midfield. His ball forward's not good enough, though. And it finds Partington, who feeds Vincent. Vincent out to the left-hand side to Harfield. A lot of yellow shirts there, not many Aldershot. And um, Aldershot have brought the extra forward on, but they've not been that brave at the moment with their formation, John. There's still Aldershot players spare in the back line and the defence. Now they've worked it well. Here's Archie Davies on the right-hand side. He just wants a nice pass inside. He does so, but it's Frank Vincent's got to go back five, ten yards to get on the ball. A sloppy pass now into Glover. First time pass from him to Cordner. Cordner threads it out to Davies. One touch, he should be able to get a cross in here. He does, in comes the cross, headed away by McNerney. Uh, good hold-up play. Oh, it's a foul. Well, actually, there would have been a Woken foul. The referee's given a foul just before that, I think, and I think he's right on this occasion. Clipped by Jordan on the byline. Here's Harfield with the ball into the area. Good header. Good header from Jordan again but uh, it just didn't have enough power on it and it's easy for Craig. But uh, the, the attack is thwarted and uh, Reese Brown is doing really well to hold the ball up again. We'll go around the grounds when we can, but here's Reese Brown still running into the area. Shot comes in and it hits the bar, the upright, I think. Ricochet up in the air, Luca Ashby Hammond picks it up and he goes for the early ball out looking for Archie Davis, Jermaine Anderson's there with him, but Davis goes past him. Early ball in isn't a good one. That a foul! No, big appeals for a penalty for the shots. In my hand, hand on my heart, I don't know whether Amazu Amaluza fouled Kellerman or Kellerman fouled Amaluza. Fair enough. So we push on. We're in the 78th minute here at the EBB. Long ball down the right-hand side for a shot. I don't know if Casey has to deal with it or not. Uh, Glover does... Oh, well, you thought Glover had tricked him to get past him on the byline, but the decision on foul. Free kick to Woking. Uh, a flick on from Woking. Uh, Harfield will just bring the ball under control down by his own corner flag. Looks to clear, but he's only cleared it as far as Rowan Ince. Ints up to Anderson, smart turn and feet from him, back out to Kellerman. Until we get a stoppage in play, we won't go to uh, Warren. In comes a cross from, oh, it's a cross from Kellerman. And Corey Jordan has had a horror afternoon. He's tried to get onto it, tried to clear it, and it's deflected up and in off the upright. And it doubles Woking's lead, I'm sure. That's the game wrapped up now. Fortunately, it's backfired for Aldershot, who, if I'm really honest, weren't showing a great chance of getting back into this one. Here they come now, though, as Amaluza in the edge of there. Paniatu goes down, and the referee gives a free kick against Paniatu. That's the one thing it definitely isn't. Was it a foul on Paniatu? Probably not, John, but I can't see where Paniatu fouled. Either way, it remains shots nil Woking to Glover. Glover shapes for the cross but doesn't play it. Now he goes back to Vincent. Um, 
and all the shot are doing exactly what John Moore said they had been doing, huffing and puffing. Here's another cross in from Archie Davies, header on. Effion goes down and this time it is a penalty. And that looks soft, it looked clumsy, but the referee's given it and he's also going to show a yellow card. And he's showing that yellow card to Dan Moss who gets the second yellow. So some brief late hope here for the shots with three minutes to go. They've got a penalty and Dan Moss has picked up a second yellow. Effiong who scored in this derby for Woking previously against Aldershot now has the opportunity at the East Bank end against his former teammate and colleague Craig Ross to bring Aldershot back into this with just a minute or so plus added time to go. Up steps in the Effiong. You know from the cheer that he scored high in the netting, high up away to Ross's left. Goal for Aldershot, Aldershot Town 1, Woking. Headed away by Anderson, but only as far as Vincent. And now played out on the right-hand side. The cross comes in, missed by everybody. Slight deflection, maybe off a Woking player. Amaluza, he plays it out to Harfield. Harfield with the cross, in it comes. Is Jordan up again. And another header, comfortably saved. In these dying seconds, Rolls uh, daily competes well for the ball, but it breaks loose to Archie Davies. And then it's blocked well by Daly, all the way to Ham uh, Ashby Hammond who plays it forward. Header forward from Rowan Ince, only finds Tyler Cordner out to the left to Harfield. Harfield into a bit of space to Amaluza on the left side. He looks to beat his man, he goes past one and he's challenged again. He's won a free kick for the shots and it's all going to come down to this, listeners and viewers. Ollie Harfield's going to lift the ball into the penalty area. Shots won, woke in two, dying seconds, in comes the ball, and it's headed wide. And there is the final whistle. All the shot want to corner. Woking get what they want, which is the final whistle. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.